Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to keep a paintbrush clean before you even start painting. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I'll give you a few pro painter cut in tips. If you're new to the channel, my name's Paul and I've been a drywall and painting contractor for over 20 years. If you're looking to step up your drywall, texturing and painting game, be sure to hit that subscribe button and also the bell notification to get alerted whenever I post a new video. Let's get into this video. Got a pretty uh, three inch brush that I'm going to do all the cut in with. And I'm going to let you in on an, a painter secret. This brush right here is probably, I don't know, two years old. Still looks pretty good. I do a lot of painting. So what I do before I do anything is wet the bristles and the whole, the whole brush. Just wet it and then knock out the water. The paint won't stick to the bristles like they do on a dry brush. Dry brush will absorb it. So I'll uh, show you how I wet it. You can, you can do it in the sink. I've got a water spigot out here, so I'm just going to do it outside, get it nice and wet. What I do is I just knock it off on my shoe and then on my pants. Now it's just pretty much damp. There you go. Also, once I've done painting, I'm going to drop back and create a nice straight line with caulk around the perimeter of the ceiling. I use the dab and tap method to get paint on my paintbrush. Get the bead out away from the corner. Work your way in. All these little voids and gaps will disappear when I run the caulk bead. Now, if we were painting the walls, I'd have already ran the caulk bead. Just a real small hole on the caulk tube. And you want to get it as close as possible. You can stay out about a sixteenth of an inch because the caulk is going to hide that. And use a nice bright white caulk along with the ceiling let me know in the comments if you're a DIYer, or a contractor painter handyman just kind of curious and this cut in will be dry by the time I'm done rolling after cutting in just start where you started with the caulk get the bead out away from the corner work your way in all these little voids and gaps will disappear when I run the caulk bead believe it or not this was a painted popcorn ceiling that I did two skim coats over and then did a skip trial texture and now I'm priming and painting I'll leave a link in the YouTube card above now to the playlist where you can watch all these videos if you watch this whole video leave a hashtag drywall tube in the comments that way I know who's watching these videos. And if you want to step up your drywall, texturing, or painting game, be sure to hit that round icon in the middle of the screen now to keep up with all my latest videos. If you've got a friend that's a contractor or DIYer, be sure to share this video with them on Facebook or Twitter. Thanks so much for watching. There's more of my most popular video links down below in the description.